Hi, Joe Cerrone. And hey, Alan Rosen. Welcome to CAD 136, Advanced AutoCAD for Interior Design in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. Alrighty, so here we are with the beginning of the semester. We're in our D2L core shell for Advanced AutoCAD for Interior Design. And Al and I will be holding these Zoom classroom meetings every Thursday at 9.30 a.m. to go through the assignments for the week. We'll use the same Zoom meeting ID, so you can just keep this link and click on it next week. We'll put information into the splash page. And so we have the modules that are going to be worked on this week shown in the main splash page here. And we also have the information for installing the CAD AutoCAD software. And so you can watch the videos for that. Since this is the advanced CAD course, most of the students already have the AutoCAD software up and running. But here's a, a refresher if you do need to reinstall the software. The course has been color coded. Book assignments will be in blue. Lab CAD assignments will be in green. We'll make videos purple and tests and quizzes will be red. If we go to the content tab, we'll find the syllabus. course will be taught by Ellen and I and the best way to get a hold of us is using the D2L email system and so you can email us as shown here we are in room P131 if you do need additional help or need to come in in person you can find us at the Skokie campus and make an appointment to come in and see us we do have open lab hours on Sunday for students who do have questions and want to come in on Sunday mornings to room P132, Skokie Campus, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and by appointment. There's no prerequisites, although it's recommended that you do have knowledge of the AutoCAD. We do that because we have a number of students that will take CAD courses out in industry and in high schools and other places and want to jump into a more advanced course, which will go through things like drawing floor plans, lighting and electrical plans, covering electronic drawing setup and editing, effective layering, dimensioning, using the blocks, and creating these three-dimensional models. And so we plan to go through and make this course a project-based course, where we'll start off with a lot of these projects. We'll work with floor plans, elevations, and three-dimensional drawings. We'll work with these different interior design projects, We'll create a portfolio of student drawings, and we'll demonstrate proper technique according to American National Standards Institute for drafting procedures. We don't want you just to know how to use AutoCAD, but we want you to know how to set up dimension styles, use attributes, blocks, the nuts and bolts of making the vocational aspect of interior design for CAD work for you. Academic integrity, these are the things that you need to be careful not to do or violate. There is an academic integrity policy here, but all in all, the way that Al and I will run the course is there's really no reason for you to have to violate any of these uh, policies. If you have some difficulties, you can email us, ask for an extension or um, <clears throat> ask for a referral to a counselor and we can help you with some, with, with what you might need. Uh, we'll go through the outline of topics, methods of instructions, we'll be drawing techniques with hands-on focus emphasizing the solution of drawing problems. We'll be teaching this course online. And we'll be using this AutoCAD for Interior Design 2015 Space Planning Textbook. We'll be grading in a straight 90, 80, 70, 60 format, and we'll be using a drawing rubric to grade your assignments. 
other course information, Oakton values diversity and equity of learners and members we serve. We strive to make all learning experiences as successful as possible. And we have accommodations and help for students who do have difficulties. And so if you do need some assistance, you can access the accessibility at oakton.edu. And you can also access confidential advisors for counseling for other things that might give you some difficulty in your life. And those are listed within the syllabus. And then here's our standard things as far as videotaping and recordings. We ask if you are attending the Zoom meetings to mute your microphones and turn off your monitors while we'll do the recordings. And then emergency closing procedures and weather related things like that will be announced in the Oakton webpage. All right. So that's our syllabus. If we come back to our main splash page, and we take a look at our module zero, and we just call it module zero. So if I go to content, you'll notice that we have a pretest, the templates, the software, and I guess before I go to the module, let's take a, take a look at the pretest. Since we are in an online course, students need to demonstrate participation within the first week of the course. And to do that, we would like you to be able to fill out this pretest. And it's really just a, why are you taking the course and what is your background? And so if you download and open the pretest, it's a Word document that you can put your name and the date on it. And then it's worth six points each. So it's worth 30 points as we go into our first assignment. And as we go through and we take a look at these, this is required to stay in, to, to be able to show participation for the first class. So take some time, tell us what your drafting experiences is, what's your experience with drawing with, with AutoCAD, why you're taking the class, what would you like to learn? and then some of the advantages in, in, of working with three-dimensional drawings, and then what you plan or would like to do with that knowledge. And then once you have taken that pretest, what you will do is you will save that, and then you will submit that to the assignments folder. So here's our pretest, share your knowledge. It's worth 30 points, and that's due on February 24th, which is next Friday. If we look at some of the content, we have the first couple of modules started. And so the first module we want to talk about just the AutoCAD interface. Students are to go through the introduction to the AutoCAD 2023 PDF. which just goes through getting you back into the swing of working with AutoCAD, how the interface is laid out, dialog boxes and settings, ways to input coordinates and commands, working with the ribbon, using the mouse, where the commands are located, command line input, and a number of other useful things. There's no drawing assignment for module zero. It's just a get back into AutoCAD type module. And we have videos to assist you with that as well. Module one is a review of where we left off with the AutoCAD for Interior Design basic course. And we left the basic course off where we were creating these floor plan models with furniture plans and elevations. And then the next step is to take that and to make three-dimensional drawings. And so we're starting off in chapter 14 with these basic 
CAD drawings of a computer monitor and a table. And then as we progress through the course, we'll start to combine these models into an assembly or into a working drawing where we'd be able to model a kitchen or a living room or an entire floor plan in 3D. And so our first assignment is, is right here. And it's basically to read chapter 14 from the AutoCAD for Interior Design and Space Planning PDF. And so we've included the PDF for the chapter right here. And so if you click on that, we can go through this chapter 14, or you can go through it and look at the learning objectives, work the 3D workspace to create solids, be able to work with these different solid primitives, use these different viewing, work with extrudes, revolves, rotates, user coordinate systems, and things like that. And so the textbook gives us a good base to work off of. And the author has done a great job with a lot of projects from this older textbook. And that's why we're sticking with it, because it just has a, a lot of great content in it that we can utilize to create lab assignments for the course. And there's a PowerPoint as well, which kind of maps to that. We also have the assignment right here. So if I click on the assignment, it's just a PDF. You'll notice that these three-dimensional objects are drawn in model space and then displayed in paper space on our architectural title block within viewports. And so we have videos for how to accomplish that. And so here's the first video right here. Module one, assignment one. Today we're gonna to work on these different pieces of furniture. And so we go through how to create these different models, working with our title block, creating the geometry, and the different methods to solid model. There's a number of different ways that Al and I have worked with AutoCAD. And so this is just sort of a basic working with viewports, working with modeling. And be able to create our first three dimensional models for this drawing. And then once we have those, that first assignment completed, the assignment will look like this. What you'll do is you'll save that drawing file. And then we'll take that drawing file and submit it to the assignments folder. The assignments folder is located here in assignments. It's under module one. You will be graded using a rubric for completeness, graphical accuracy, using proper design rules like proper layers, line types, line weights, proper dimensioning and proper use of CAD features. Each one will be worth 30 points. You can add the file. And then once you have that file added, if you have any information that you'd like to ask, and then submit. And I didn't put my file on there, so it's, it's giving me a bit of a glitch, but I think we get the picture as far as how that's going to work. It'll give you a notification telling you that you have turned in the file. And then 
you can go on and start to work on the next assignment. Alrighty, so if we come back here and take another look at module one, we're going to go through and create these different CAD models. You're welcome to do some of the additional work that's that's in the solid modeling chapter. We will add bonus, but as this is our first day of the class, we just want to get everybody started and off to a good start. Textbook information is located right here. We have Design Center, which is a content manager with blocks for furniture, plants, housewares, you name it. Elle has done a great job with putting these things together. CAD templates to be able to work with the different AutoCAD drawing templates. CAD materials as far as to be able to render and create three-dimensional drawings. And that's basically where we're at today. I'm going to go back to the main splash page. And we're going to wrap this up. Al, is there anything else that we want to talk about before we end the Zoom meeting and open things up for questions? No, I think you covered it fantastically all together. Uh, just make sure if you do have any questions, you know, make sure you feel free to contact us one way or another. And we'll get back to you soon. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to stop the recording. We will record the meetings and post them every week on the main splash page. And if you have any questions, be sure to just email us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Have a great day.